Hello everyone, Ricky Dragoni, World's Strongest Author and the So Brothers. Alonso and Lorenzo is behind the camera today. We are changing it up. I think we've done enough workout videos. Yesterday we did 250 squats, we did jump squats, all kinds of stuff, but I mean, there's only so much you can do. So we are, one of the things I'm trying to take advantage during this extended summer break is trying to teach the boys some life skills, some things that they're gonna, once, once they leave the house, or is gonna be a junior next year, that they can use when they go. So we've been wanting cookies, so we are gonna be making cookies. Alonso's gonna be helping me, Lorenzo's gonna be filming. Uh, we'll probably have some cooking stuff coming up and some cleaning, but today is gonna be a fun one. We're gonna make some chocolate chip cookies. The only cookies that are necessary in the galaxy, right? <laughs> so, uh, so Lorenzo, come on in so we can show them the ingredients. We are gonna need some chocolate chips. I got semi-sweet and milk chocolate. The instructions say you say to use one bag. I like to use extra. Uh, we got some vanilla extract, some salt baking powder and baking soda. It depends on how much of which you put, how your cookies turn out, whether they're more or more. But so we're gonna put both. Uh, yeah, I don't follow recipes too well. Uh, that's why I like cooking. Baking is kind of a challenge. We have some brown sugar, some white sugar, a couple of brown eggs, some butter. I got all unsalted. I think that's what you use for baking. I'm putting salt in anyway. Some flour, we got our measuring utensils. We have our baking pan with our silicone sheet. Uh, it's clean. It's clean, it's just had some scars from some bread I burned one day. But it's clean. And we have our, our mixer, our oven. We're gonna preheat according to the instructions to 375. So, I want to hit bake. Now it's preheating. Okay, so we're gonna start turning into this, and uh, Alonso's gonna do most of the work so he learns how to make cookies because he likes to eat them. Okay, so one of the things, so since I mix this stuff out of order, one of the things I'd like to do is soften the butter. I just took it out of the fridge, so I'm just gonna pop in the microwave for like 10 seconds. <laughs> so Alonso. Hit the at 30 seconds. You know how I use the microwave? Good. Okay, so how many seconds are we at? Three. My guy, we must stop the bomb. Stop. Good job. Okay. So that softened it a little bit, I think, enough. Uh, so we have our butter. We have our sugar, which I like. The recipes say like half and half white sugar to brown sugar. I like more brown sugar because it makes them a little softer and chewier, the cookies. The white sugar does give you that crispy snap, so you don't, like I like to still add a little bit of the, the white sugar for the snap, okay? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do out of order is, I like to put in the eggs first and beat them, like if I was gonna make a meringue kind of thing. So on, so very carefully, grab an egg, crack it on the edge, and two hands, open it in there. You guys get harder. Shake it so you get over the egg in there. You gotta tilt it. I wanna get all this chocolate in there. Okay, there you go. Okay, so throw that away. No shell. No shell. Okay, watch your hands. Watch your hands. We're doing a raw egg. So, we put the eggs in there. I'm pretty sure that's not the first thing you're supposed to do, but I decided to make it easy. So, Lonzo lowered the kitchen egg. Let's switch sides, so. Okay, so now you're gonna lock it, so. And, yep, that's how you push it forward. Now move the speed to like four. Start slow. Okay, that's not slow. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're gonna beat the eggs. Okay, it's okay. Okay, starting to get 
white. You're trying to get air bubbles, then white, and fluffy. So, we got our eggs in there. Is there sugar? Sure, let's throw the sugar in. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So, we're, if the recipe asks for three quarter cup of white sugar and three quarter cups of brown sugar. So, what we're gonna do is, wait, you wanna break? We're gonna, so that's a cup and a half of sugar. So, we'll do a cup and a quarter of brown and a quarter cup of white. So, okay. Oh, he loses it. Okay, so we're gonna cut up here. Beautiful, light brown sugar, like me. Okay, so we need a quarter, a cup and a quarter. So this is a cup, and inside of it, it has, you know, you see a little quarter cup and a third cup and half a cup. So we're gonna fill it to the cup, the first one, okay? So, I just use cup. Make it fill it in, fill it in, okay? Okay, hold carefully, just don't, okay? So, I'm just taking it. I, I know, okay. Okay, okay, now put, put it in there quickly. Okay, so that was about a cup. Just get like a little scoop. Oh, that's good. Put it in there. So, perfect. So, you see, we, we use really tight measurements when we bake. Okay, so now we're gonna take some. Uh, put it in this. This is some white sugar in here. We keep the it's a third of a cup, so don't fill it all the way and then put it in there. No. Bebe, cuidado. Okay, that's, that's good. Okay. Okay, let's, let's just, just put it in there. That's good. Just put it in there. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Put it back in there. Away from the sugar. It's just. Okay. Okay, lock it first. Don't go high. All right, wait, otherwise we're gonna have to roll over the kitchen. Okay, he went high. Okay. It's hard to do. All right. Again, beautiful and creamy and gooey gooey. Okay, so the chocolate chips. I think you're supposed to put one bag of these things for one batch, so we're gonna put, I don't know, three quarters or something. We're going on heavy chocolate. Yay! Okay, so. It's already like half full. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't think that's how that works, but okay. Okay, so. So I like to put a little bit of chocolate chips. Okay, you go ahead and say. Just a little bit. Just match what I do during this process. Ja, 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 ja. I can't oh, see. Oh, yeah, man. But the... I can't see. I want to see. But the dinner's all. Alonso went a little heavier on his butt oh. than mine. So I like to mix it up here so the chocolate chips kind of fall apart and kind of gives it almost a chocolate, chocolate chip feel to the cookies. Like chocolate, chocolate chip cookies. Some of the chocolate chips, which were at room temperature, mash like as Alonso said, and break apart a little bit. So those little pieces of chocolate spread through the cookies when you cook them. Again, this is not how you do a chocolate chip cookies, but this is how I make them, and usually they turn out pretty good. So we spun it around. The paddle didn't break, which always is a good thing. So as you can see, the oh. some of the chips kind of broke apart a little bit. And the dough is looking a little darker. So the last thing we have to add is the flour, and then we'll fold in the rest of the chocolate chips so they're fold or shape. So flour, we need two and a quarter cups. So yep, we gotta use the measuring cup. We dry it out so we don't get clumped with flour. Alonso, por amor de Dios, con mucho cuidado, madre, si no, porque si no va a ser mujer. Okay. 
Okay, so we got all purpose flour, I think, or flare flour. I don't know, whatever. This flour. Okay, so, so scoop, scoop toward the side. Don't mess up. So we're gonna do this is probably I don't know three or four batches on this sheet. So we're gonna go like mm, so we're gonna take a little bit of the dough. Use our hands like a ball. So now we're gonna put our cookies, our first batch. I 
think these are going to be larger cookies. We'll judge by how they turn out, how big to make the other ones, so we kind of have an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, the oven is at 375. This is the dangerous part when you're teaching kids how to bake and cook, because they don't understand, like, 375, it's like instant burn. And I've, I've worked in kitchens, I've cooked a long time, you get, you get burned. Okay, now you're gonna grab the pan. This pan's cool, so you're fine, but when you put it in, you don't put it all the way in. You slide it almost all the way in, and you finish pushing it in. It's, don't touch it. it. This one's fine. Two hands. Don't touch the anything here. Don't touch the middle. Okay, put it on the rack. And just like this. Put it on the rack, halfway in, then just slide it in. There you go, I close the oven. Oh. I'm sore. <laughs> <laughs> and we let them cook for eight to ten minutes. So we'll oh, be. Oh, that's quick. I don't know. It's so we'll. So we'll be back in about eight to ten minutes. Yay! Okay, so the cookies are done. You kind of have to eyeball a little bit. We made some giant cookies that first batch. Uh, as much as I want him to learn, I'm not comfortable yet with him grabbing out of the oven. I know I should let him, but he wants, like, he needs to see it first. So you use a heat pad, you make sure, so and you pull out this beautiful cookies out of the oven. They look pretty good look fluffy and they'll flatten out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer them to a cooling rack so that so we can see how <laughs> they're, so they're still soft. Okay, so while those cook, now we're gonna make a batch of small little balls and we're gonna keep going until, <laughs> until all this batter is gone, okay? Okay, so now for the moment that the boy's been waiting for, we have done an, our unorthodox cookies that look very good. Uh, so now we try. We wanna try them all at the same time, one at a time, how are we doing this? I forgot. All at the same time. Okay, so grab your cookie. Okay, <laughs> salud, salud, una, dos, no, so. salud, okay. una, dos y tres. Mm. 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 It's just a chocolate filled cookie. It's the middle is it's nice and gooey, ain't it? Mm -hmm. So they're crispy on the outside. I don't know if you could hear the crunch when we bit, but the middle, all that extra chocolate. It's perfect. Crispy mm. and salt on this. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's alright. I mean, it's alright. They're perfect. They're not perfect. They're perfect. They're, no, they're good. How can <clears throat> they be better? <clears throat> if I made them. Ah! I want to see that. Mm -mm. No way. You want to make some cookies? Okay, so next time. Mr. I can do better over here. <laughs> it's gonna make some cookies. But I gotta say, those are gonna be hard to beat, right, Alonso? Those, mm, man. I need a moment, I need a moment. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy that. Use this time to teach the kids how to bake, cook, all that kind of stuff. I mean, eventually this guy's gonna be out in the world and I don't want him eating ramen noodles with shirasa all the time, which he probably would. <laughs> Either way. So hopefully he can. Uh, yeah, exactly. So please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, hit the little bell. Hit the little bell. Again, don't forget to check out my books. Uh, they're on audio. They're on Amazon. They're on Kindle. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, now time for more cookies. See ya.